Hey guys, it's Reed from Silkies to Go, Reed's Dragons. Anyways, this boat's coming along. I didn't video a lot of this floor. It was a real pain. Uh, I ended up working a lot of stuff, so I just kind of did it here and there. Uh, as you can tell, the floor is not perfect and I really don't care. So you can tell right here and right here, that's where my fiberglass overlapped. I think also right here somewhere is where, or actually right here is where the uh, wood connected to each other so you can kind of see a little hill there. I got a couple bubbles in there, but I'm not worried about it. I didn't need a flat floor anyway. It's flat enough. Uh, I've got some walnut shells in the gel coat. That's the other part you can kind of see here. The floor is not completely smooth and that's how I want it. So this is going to help with not being so slick when you're actually out and it gets wet. As you can tell I haven't quite finished painting that. I just want to make sure that I got the floor painted enough uh, to seal it and everything after doing all the fiberglass and everything. And I wasn't worried about all that up under there or under there. As you can tell I also didn't do up there. I just kind of tore some stuff out. Hurry up and did it. Uh, I wanted to get my grandpa out fishing. Uh, he had cancer and stuff like that. Uh, I believe it's gone now, but for the last couple of years we've promised to take him out and no one's done it. So I just said, you know what? This boat, it's got a new floor. This looks way better than what it did before. I know it's nice and solid. The wood's all fiberglass both sides, so it's going to last me quite a while. As you can tell, right there I spilt some of the black uh, pigment to make the white gel coat gray. Uh, I was actually thinking about just spackling some black all over the floor just to kind of give it a little bit of character. Um, I do have to go over this one more time with the gray. I have just a little bit left over so I'm going to cover that up but I still might just kind of do it just for a little character. Uh, as you can tell, I just kind of did back here a little bit. Not, Didn't worry about it that too much because I still got to clean all that up and everything. I was just worried about this main part that people are going to see. Eventually, I'm going to build a seat right here. It's either going to be a seat or a live well, but I want to put the live well up front just for the weight. But I am going to replace the seat that used to be back here. And as you can see, this uh, bilge area is quite a bit bigger it's you know that much bigger than what it used to be so a good four inches or so you look back here you can tell it goes down and it's kind of at an angle of course I still got to paint some of that to seal it and everything so I still got a little bit more work to do but this is the the updates I was thinking about fiberglass on these back in I bought a new stereo and they have round speakers, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna put the speakers back there or what. They had speakers there and over right here. You can tell they put them there and on this side too. So I'm gonna kind of figure out where I want those. Um, the next problem we started this engine and found out that the steering was stuck. So I undid this and this all moves freely. I had that out yesterday, but this rod over here is stuck. So that rod I'm gonna hammer out. Uh, it has no grease or anything on it. It's completely dried up. It used to have some grease and stuff. So hopefully I won't have to buy a new one. I'm gonna take it out, try to figure out what's going on with that. I put some WD-40 on it gonna hammer that out the rest of the way um, as you can see here when I turn the steering wheel this whole side works it comes out so I know that the cable itself is working it's just inside here somewhere all this stuff is sticking so I'll show you in a little bit after I've got that hammered out I watched a couple of videos. No one really has a whole lot on it. They only have parts of it. So I'm just going to see what happens. If nothing else, I'll have to 
fix it and buy a new one but i'm just gonna try to take that rod out grease it up or get whatever junk out of there and hopefully it'll slide again and i can just put this rod back in and hopefully it'll start going again